Today's session is about multiplication facts of 8 and 9. And the learning goal is I can multiply numbers by 8 and 9. But let us recall first or let us review first what is multiplication? What is multiplication? Do you know? Okay, very good. Multiplication is repeated addition. And the symbol for multiplication is the X sign. Very good. Now, are you excited to learn about multiplication facts of 8? Yay! Alright, so here is the wheel of 8. The multiplication facts of 8. So 8 is in the middle and then you will multiply 8 by the number in yellow. And then the product is actually the number in color blue. So let's say 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Alright, so can you recite with me the multiplication facts of 8? Are you ready? Alright, so let's do it. You recite with me. Say 8 times 0 equals 0. 8 times 1 equals 8. 8 times 2 equals 16. 8 times 3 equals 24. 8 times 4 equals 32. 8 times 5 equals 40. 8 times 6 equals 48. 8 times 7 equals 56. 8 times 8 equals 64. 8 times 9 equals 72. 8 times 10 equals 80. 8 times 11 equals 88. 8 times 12 equals 96. Very good. Now let's practice. Okay. So let's say what is 4 times 8? So if you forgot the multiplication facts of 4 times 8, we can actually draw. We can draw 4 sets of 8. So as you can see in one group, there are 4 classes. So we can add 8 4 times. So 4 times 8 is equal to 32. And then we can have another solution. Let's say you forgot 4 times 8, but you know what is 5 times 8, which is 40. And then 1 times 8 is 8. We can actually subtract the products of 5 times 8 and 1 times 8 because 5 minus 1 is 4, right? So 40 minus 8 is 32. Okay, so let's have another solution. We can do addition. Let's say you forgot what is 4 times 8, but you know 3 times 8, which is 24. And then 1 times 8 is 8. So you can add the products. 24 and 8 that is 32 amazing right okay let's have another one what is 7 times 8 so we can draw 7 groups of 8 okay as you can see we have there cones ice cream cones right with ice creams so yummy right so 7 sets of 8 so we can add 8 7 times. So 7 times 8, if you're going to add that, 8, 7 times, you'll get 56. Okay, so we can have another solution. Say you forgot 7 times 8, right? We can do this. We can multiply 5 and 8, which is 40, and then 2 times 8, which is 16. We can add the products. Okay, so it's 56. Or we can do subtraction. 10 times 8 is 80, 3 times 8 is 24, so we can subtract the products. 80 minus 24 is 56. So these are just sample solution, children. So it's up to you which numbers you are going to add or subtract just to get the product. Okay? Alright. Now let's move on to another multiplication fax, which is 9. So this is the multiplication fax of 9. 9 times a number in yellow and then in the and then the number in blue that's the product let's say 9 times 1 is 9 9 times 2 is 18 9 times 3 is 27 9 times 4 is 36 and so on now are you ready to recite with me the multiplication facts of 9 okay so let's recite the multiplication facts of 9 
Okay, say nine times zero equals zero. Nine times one equals nine. Nine times two equals eighteen. Nine times three equals twenty-seven. Nine times four equals thirty-six. Nine times five equals forty-five. Nine times six equals fifty-four. Nine times seven equals sixty-three. Nine times eight equals seventy-two. Nine times nine equals eighty-one. Nine times ten equals ninety. Nine times eleven equals ninety-nine. And nine times twelve equals one hundred eight. Very good. All right. Now let's practice. Okay, but wait. There's an easiest way to recall multiplication facts of nine. You know what? Multiplication facts of nine children is very special. You can actually write or list down the numbers from zero to nine in increasing order. You start from zero, the lowest, going to nine. That's the biggest number, so it's increasing order, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then on the other side, you can write the numbers nine going down. So, so it's in decreasing order, nine to zero. So when you multiply nine and one, you can see there's zero and nine. Zero and nine is actually nine, right? And then 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3 is 27. So you can pair the numbers. As you can see in the arrow, right? 0 and 9 will become 9. 1 and 8 will become 18. 2 times, I mean 2 and 7 will become 27 when you multiply 9 times 3. Can you see the pattern? And then what's, why is it special? Look, look at the sum of the digits. 0 plus 9 is 9. 1 plus 8 is 9. 2 plus 7 is 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. The total of the digits is actually 9. That's why it is very special. Alright? Okay. Let's practice. What is 4 times 9? So you can actually draw 4 sets of 9. And then add these 9 donuts in a set. So we have 4 sets, right? That is equal to 36. Another solution, you forgot what is 4 times 9, but you know what is 3 times 9, which is 27, and 1 times 9, which is 9, you can just add the products, right? 27 plus 9 is equal to 36. Or another solution, using subtraction, okay? You know what is 5 times 9, 45, and then 1 times 9 is 9. You can subtract the products because 5 minus 1 is 4. So 45 minus 9 is 36. Okay, very good. Let's have another practice. What is 9 times 9? So we can draw 9 sets of 9. Okay, or you can count the flowers there in a set. Okay, so add 9 9 times and that is equal to 81. And let's apply the method that I showed you a while ago. We can use or do addition. 5 times 9 is 45. 4 times 9 is 36. So we add the products. That is equal to 81. Or we can subtract. 10 times 9 is 90. 1 times 9 is 9. We can subtract the products. 90 minus 9 is 81. Alright children, so these are just some solutions. But you can use other numbers, other multiplication facts just to find the the product all right okay so are you ready for the practice exercises please get your pen and paper okay so there are six questions and you have one minute to find the, pro the product okay ready go
Alright. Okay. Time is up. Alright, let's check. What is 3 times 9? Yes, it's 27. 6 times 8? 48. 7 times 9? Yes, it's 63. 0 times 9? 0. 2 times 8? 16. And 5 times 8 is? 40. Very good. Alright, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the all notification bell so that when I upload my new video, you will be notified. Alright, thank you so much and please don't forget to like and share this video. Bye! God bless you all!